Konnichiwa, Japan fans. Today's show, we're going to be talking about proposals. So let's get going. This is the seventh year of the Sales Japan Series podcast, broadcasting around the world from the Beverly Hills of Japan, Minato-ku here in downtown Tokyo. It is chic central. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, Dale Kanii, Tokyo franchise owner, the president of Dale Kanii Tokyo Training, and the three-time best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery, which is Zaegyo in Japanese, Japan Business Mastery, and Japan Presentations Mastery, plus Stop Wasting Money on Training in Japanese, Training De, Okane O, Muruni Sunu Wa, Yami Masho, and all are available on Amazon. In this podcast, I want to help you to survive and, even better, thrive in business. One, sell more and do it more easily. Two, exceed your targets. In fact, blow up your targets. Three, make some serious, serious money. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast with your family, friends, and colleagues. We are not being sponsored by Libsyn, but we value your privacy, which is why we have our podcast hosted by Libsyn. Unlike many other hosting organizations, Libsyn have a strict policy that does not allow access to your private information by anyone. Here is our daily podcast lineup on Apple Podcasts. Mondays, the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show podcast. Tuesday, the Presentations Japan series, and every second Tuesday, the Business Touches in No Oshie Show. Wednesdays, the Sales Japan series. Thursdays, the Leadership Japan series, and every second Thursday, the Business Pro Podcast Show. Fridays, the Japan Business Mastery Show podcast. Saturdays, Japan's top business interviews. Now, this is episode number 358, and today we're talking about How detailed should our sales proposals be? In Japan, we meet the client, build a rapport, seek permission to ask questions, ask the questions, and then we set the date and time for the next meeting. Usually, in the first meeting, this is where we expect to get to, and we know we have to come back with a lot more detail for the second meeting. What level of detail do we need to go into in the proposal? Decision-making is done differently in Japan, so the proposal carries a lot more weight here, because so many eyes need to check it. Consensus decision-making is favoured here in Japan because if something goes wrong, no one gets landed with the blame. We're all responsible, so actually no one individual is responsible. This has proven to be a winner for Japanese companies when it comes to decision-making. The due diligence on a purchase decision means that many different sections and divisions will need to take a look at it. The idea is that section by section, the approval document proceeds upwards toward executive sanction. The individuals meeting with the salesperson won't be the only decision makers. The proposal document has to take in consideration that most of the people making the decision will never meet the salesperson. The proposal document has to mend its way through the buyer organization on its own. The level of detail needs to be appropriate to the task. Generally speaking, Japanese buyers are information vultures, and have an insatiable appetite for data. They're all operating on the basis that risk reduction is the key thing to be considered, and the antidote to risk is data and information. So, for a Japanese proposal, we should go in much heavier than we would do normally. One of the dangers, though, is that the key points get swamped by the detail and it becomes less clear what needs to be happening. Having a lot of supporting information in the appendices is a good idea, as it allows the data vultures to feast. It frees the rest of the narrative up to be more readily absorbed by the readers. The key to the document is it answers all of the questions being asked by those different section representatives who are charged with doing the due diligence. This is where the people we as salespeople are speaking to become very important. They will know better than we will what are potential sticking points for other sections or areas of the most intense interest. It is difficult for us to second-guess what all of those areas will be. We should ask for their help 
when preparing the proposal so that we can capture everything needed. This takes longer at the beginning, but is quicker in the end, because the answers are there. The readers will move straight through the content without us having to make too many revisions. Find out more when we come back from the break. Our show today is brought to you by our public courses, but we also do custom in-house programs as well as we do them in both Japanese and English. We do them face-to-face in our super safe classroom and we do them live online. Today's show is being brought to you by, on the 14th of September, we'll do our Dale County course in English. On the 22nd, we'll do Winning with Relationship Selling. And on the 25th, we'll do Time Management. Go to our website at www.dale-carnegie.co.jp Get my best-selling books. Japan Sales Mastery, which in Japanese is Zaegyo. This is the Bible for selling in Japan. Japan Business Mastery, Japan Presentations Mastery, plus Stop Wasting Money on Training, which in Japanese is Training de Okane wo Muru ni Sunu wa Yami no Shou. And all are available on Amazon. If you like learning by watching videos, we have nearly 2,000 there for you at Tokyo Japan Balcony TV on YouTube. We release three TV shows every week on YouTube. The Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, that's the premier business show on Japan every Monday, Tokyo time. Fridays, we have the Japan Business Mastery Show. And on Sundays, we release Japan's top business interviews. Where I interview leaders from small and medium enterprises all the way up to the corporate captains of industry on one topic, leading in Japan. Every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro Telebi Show. You can email me at greg.story at dalekani.com. Welcome back. The proposal section on the solution will need to be the most detailed. How will it work? And more importantly, how will it work inside their organization? If we have a similar firm in a similar subsection of the industry we can reference, that is ideal. Japan loves precedent and they love having someone else's example to peruse rather than being the guinea pig themselves. We have to anticipate what some of the concerns will be and address these in the proposal before they are brought up from their side. This way, the various section readers can move more quickly through the document and speed up its internal elevation towards the C-suite. There will be some detail, which is more important than other content, and these sections should be kept in the main body. The appendices are where we can layer more complexity into the argument. If there is a need for those doing the due diligence to cover this off, they will seek it out for themselves. For everyone else, the detail provided will be sufficient for them to move the approval process forward. We don't want to dilute the key advantages of our solution by drowning it in too much detail. This is a tricky line to navigate, and we have to make some decisions about where to hold certain data. We should err on the side of more data than not enough, though. The data vultures need to be fed. Proposals are great communication vehicles for attacking the doubters sitting behind the wall of the client's office, who we will never meet. We have to anticipate their requirements and produce a document which covers off their concerns and which can be easily absorbed by everyone else. If we can strike that balance, then the chances of us getting the deal done go up dramatically. Thank you for joining the Sales Japan series. If you found the program useful, then please work on your karma and share this with your family, friends, and colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast. Immediately, apply what you've learned today. Go out there and survive. Use it and make some serious money. Bucks, dough, moolah, coin, dosh, lolly, readies, smackers, earners, and bread and honey. Remember, I'm in your corner committed to your success here in Nippon.